How to set up a billing alert for S3 Amazon CloudFront. This tutorial is sponsored by Footprint Add-ons. Go to aws.amazon.com and on the top right, click on My Account Console. Then, select Account Activity in the menu. You are redirected to the sign-in screen if you are not already logged in. Fill in the email address and password. Then, click the Sign In button. On the Account Activity page, click on the Enable Now link, located in the square box. The security questions need to be set to help identify you, as the owner of the account. Scroll down to configure the challenge questions. You need to fill them all in. For this demonstration, I click on the button above the questions, however, in your case, click on the button at the bottom. They say you can set up billing alerts now, but you must sign up for the EC2 service before you can use the Amazon CloudWatch console. You notice that as soon as you click the link to set your first billing alert, click the button to proceed and fill in your credit card details. There are no costs involved, since the first 10 alerts are for free. You may use your existing contact address for billing, or enter a new one. Click Continue when you are done. If you are located in Europe and you have a VAT registration number, fill it in. Click Continue when finished. As you can see, it looks like this field does not allow to proceed the number with the country code. You get an error box in that case. Just remove the country code and you are good to go. Click Continue when you are done. In the next screen, you need to select the country code for telephone verification. Also, make sure the phone number is correct because you are going to be called directly after you click on the Call Me Now button. There may be a slight delay, just stay on this page. Pick up the phone when it rings and follow the instructions. We are almost there. Type the PIN code you see on this page using the keypad of your phone. Wait, do not leave this page. The page will refresh automatically after the automated system received your PIN number. And here we are. Now we can finally set up our billing alert. And here we are. All verification is done, we just have to wait for an email that tells us the account is ready. In my case, it took about an hour but it may vary. When the email arrives, we can finally set up our first alert. Click on the link that goes to account activity again. In the box above, there is a link called Set Your First Billing Alert. Click on it. This will bring you to the console. A pop-up box appears. Click on the Create Alarm button. Here are the settings of the billing alarm. The first field is already filled in with Notify Me. You may change or leave it as it is. First, I fill in the maximum amount of dollars. If the bill hits the ceiling, it will trigger the alert. Then I fill in the email address to receive the alert. You can set charges per service, but if you are a content provider like me, you will want to know the total charges when they exceed the limit. So basically, I leave the rest as it is and click the Create Alarm button. Your billing alarm is created now. Next time, it will be easier to create new alarms, because the verification process is no longer needed. However, you need to confirm each new alarm you create, using the confirmation email sent by the system. This ensures unauthorized people cannot check your account. As soon as the confirmation email arrives, click on the confirmation subscription link. 
The billing alert is now activated, and you may receive an alert when the limit you set is reached. Ideally, you get no alert at all. As long as the bill is lower than your limit each month, you get no notification except your regular monthly bill. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. We hope to see you back soon.